Good, my peoples. Ozzy Worldwide. Mr. Too Trendy. Come on, man. We back with the YouTube thing. Today, I'm going to react to some, some other girl. Apparently, she left this line. People's rumors going around. And, you know, we're just going to go over this video. I'm not really sure what's going on. But, end of the day, you know, it's no judgment. Because anytime I come across ex-Muslim on YouTube, whatever, Instagram, it's always something negative, you know? It's always something, oh, I didn't feel this way or it's... It's like they got a grudge towards it. I'm trying to see if this girl is being real or if she's try trying to give her experience. We'll see, we'll see what she's trying to say. So yeah, I'm about to watch it right now. Video. Basically, about over a week now, I'd say maybe even close to two weeks now, I made a video, completely random, completely random video, okay? It's got nothing to do with what we're talking about today. Somebody commented this comment to which I made a video response to saying that I'm not a Muslim. Now, the reason why I felt like Someone I needed to make a TikTok, video response saying that is because the past two years that I've been on social media, the question of my religion has been almost daily question. Like I get it all the time. People always ask me, are you Muslim? Or are you like, what's your religion? You know, because I'm Somali, I think people kind of automatically assume that I'm a Muslim. So that's why I felt like I needed to if make a Somali, video, but I didn't think. It's like you're automatically Muslim, you know? That's what it is. It's, it's not Anaka. It's not like other eth eth ethnic groups. It's like, yo, if you're Somali, you're Muslim. It's like, bro, we we mix Dean with the culture. It's, I don't I don't recommend it. But a lot of Somali, that's what they do. They mix Dean with the culture, and it's, it's it's a tricky one. I'm not gonna lie, because something that's forbidden in the Dean, but it's okay in the culture. You know, it's it's kind of like backwards in a way. So I feel like us Somalis, yo, we need to, we need to stop doing that, innit? Because yo, that's gonna that's gonna lead us to Jahili. Better to just keep the D separate it was Somali. To make a video, but I didn't think that it was gonna cause the reaction that it did. So I'll show you some of the comments that I got. I got a lot of harassment, I've got a lot of bullying. From That's it. the thing Overall, too, with the yeah, Somali community. Not... Fam, bare harassment. Me and me, I, I'm gonna be real. On TikTok, this shit is toxic. Like I it feels like I'm a one man army, innit? Like yo, yo, the way people the shit people say to me, it's wild, fam. You can't take shit personal on social media, so well, I, it is what it is. It's not been the greatest reaction, and I'm not gonna lie, this is why I kind of never wanted to say anything to, uh, about it. I knew I'm eventually, gonna I'm if gonna I'm gonna through. pursue like a social media career, I guess, with makeup, me being a Somali girl, with my aesthetic, I yeah, knew I that this video is because this. ever since those videos and me trying to like defend myself, I've had people call me Islamophobic. I just felt like I had to like, you know, clarify and talk about this. The case may be those things for me can't really be swayed by other people. I make my own judgment on things. I definitely okay. didn't leave because of other people. The thing that made me ultimately like leave is me doing my own research. I feel like a lot of people think that people that leave Islam is just like they just want to go. I don't, I don't know. Cause Number two, it's like, yo, when you read Quran, you have to understand it. It's like. That's the thing. That's why I recommend learning, like not not you. You can learn Arabic and all that, but it's better to know the meaning. It's better to, and also it's it's very important to know why Elahi made some things forbidden. Why why there's there's guidelines in our religion? Because you gotta understand, Islam is perfect, but we're not perfect. You know what I mean? We mess up all the time. You know, commissions all the time. And we still ungrateful. You know, like the Somali parents. Okay, you throw kids in duxi, you make them uh, go pray. But why are you gonna make? They have to know these things, fam, because it's very important. You have to teach the kids the basis of the deen. Then every decision they make in life, then they're always going to remember you like, you know? Tawheed. You know, you know, Tawheed, fam. Like, you got to know the freaking wisdom behind this, fam. Or else it's like, you're just blindly following. You never want to blindly follow something. So, yeah, yes, I agree with that. I did my own research. I read the Quran, like the translation of it, and... I just didn't connect to it spiritually. You know how people that are super religious, when they read the Quran or when they pray, they feel this divine spiritual connection to it? I just didn't feel that. And I knew that me being open about that would be something that I can't just say. Do you get what I mean? Do you have to read and understand the Quran? But you have to know the context too. I would say you have to study the Salaf. You know, you have to study how they live their life. You know, what, what the sacrifices they make. Then you really understand, like, okay, yo, this Islam is more than just it's more than just praying five times a day. This is this is a lifestyle. I also have to understand Elijah's wisdom too. 
you know why why we're in this earth too you know why 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 we have why we have to pray five times a day why why we have to give zakat if you're a new muslim or if you have doubts study the life of the prophet study the sahab even you know then you really get a real like understanding but then I got to a point where I was like, do I want to be lying to people and saying to people that I'm Muslim just because I'm scared of what other people are going to think? Or should I just live my truth? Don't really want to say anything because they're scared of the reaction. And I get that. Yeah, it's not really an easy journey. I'm not going to lie. All in all, I didn't leave for other people. I left for myself. <laughs> talk, we don't give a rat's ass if you leave Islam. Like, I'll be real. Well, like, I, don't, I don't really care. If you're a revert, and you leave us. We need Islam, you know. Islam doesn't need us. End of the day. So it's like, well, right, let's be real. We don't give a damn. Like you do your own thing, we do our own thing. You know what I mean? Like end of the day, Ilahi guides who he wants. It's my negative comments gonna do to do for you. Is that is that gonna guide you to Islam? Is that gonna make you a Muslim again? It's not gonna do nothing for me. So don't get why people it's do that. Kind of learning on like not giving a fuck about hate comments on socials because I'm not gonna lie, most of them care. when I click on the profile, it says follow back or whatever and also i can't really so change is. how people view me like however people perceive me if people look at me and think oh my god you have no morals you have no values like i can't change you can't, you can't what other people have huh? so much happier for it once you find something that makes you feel better especially on a faith level i don't think people understand how personal it is question number three do you have a wide circle of friends from different religious backgrounds I actually yeah like i'm a very social person when we met i was still in my questioning phase but i was like scared to also question if all your life you're taught one thing it's kind of scary to think differently so when i started questioning i tried to suppress it so hard eventually i just got to a point where uni this is what i'm saying i feel like things happen for a reason but in my first year of uni literally the first day i met a mariana shout out to you girl we became like besties immediately till this day oh, bitch, this till this but she was looking into islam and obviously she voiced this to me and i she voiced her to her that i didn't no, uh, if it was for me was, it's so I weird because every time i try to explain this to like, people like it's an odd a lot about islam like I, I grew up muslim we had a lot of conversations so and then we also could relate on the fact that the the faith that we were born into just didn't resonate and she kind of helped me by validating those feelings feeling like you know what like if i'm feeling that christianity is not for me and islam is for me life feeling like you're just faking it for other people you know so it was great because we both kind of validated our own experience it was a good question do you still suffer from religious guilt this was actually something that i suffered with on the early stages because if you're used to one way of life even if that doesn't align with you if that's like all you knew from a kid when you leave it sometimes you might feel scared to do certain things because you've attached fear onto it if that makes sense now i've kind of worked my way out of it yeah i don't i don't think i really have religious guilt anymore but it is something okay. that a lot of people who leave are... do you consider yourself as spiritual you know, he will tell honestly you, okay, yo, if you if you disobey him this is what's gonna happen the punishment you can look at it like oh i'm i, I fear it but the way the whole point of it is like he's increase his mercy you know like to provide mercy to you like okay you fear these things okay your status in general will go higher because then you obey Elahi more then you have time to repent to him you know and then Eli rewards you you know that's the whole point of fearing is so that you can you can increase your status in Jannah you know that Eli can provide more mercy for you you know Eli is the most merciful and the most loving that's that's the whole, that's the Honestly, whole point of view. Honestly, I kind of do. I wouldn't call myself an atheist. But then, I don't know. I feel like I wish I could like open my brain and oh, you guys could climb not in and understand what I'm There's no God. She's not saying that. She's just saying like, yo, she understands that there's Ilahi there. But she just doesn't, she's ignorant to it, you know? So, I, I, it's not really a big deal. I can name like five other niggas, same, same thing, you know? And, and understand same thing what I'm trying to say. Because I don't think I can put it into words. Like, sometimes I'm like, there's no way that this world just exists. Everything has to be connected and everything. But then other days, I'm like, yeah, but maybe we're just here because we are just here. Like, maybe that's just... It is what it is. I'm comfortable with the idea that we will never know. 
at the end True. of the day, I mean, nobody actually. Also, when you take a slam out of it, it's like you don't really know what's gonna happen in your casket, fam. You know, you don't know what it's like until you're actually there. That's that's the crazy part about it. So, so different. Anyway, lifestyles I can't watch this whole thing, man. It's because too, you too never too know what you could learn. And yeah, it's just good to be aware of how everybody else in the world thinks and how they live, because it makes you respect other people more you know just because we're different doesn't mean that that person is horrible and that person's better. girl she's not like other espos she's not looking at a slam like oh i hate this to the she's just looking at it like yo it's not for me one day maybe she might be guided but for now she's not truly trying to practice i can understand man it's like it's not even like anything crazy people who go out of the way and start bashing a slam make a whole chant that, that bottom of the barrel trash fam. like we don't even we don't even give those people attention time of the day but this girl she's living her life and she's doing her thing well like, we really should care end of the day like we don't know what's gonna happen when she dies we don't know what's gonna happen i i, I could end up misguided you know so i can't i can't really judge a girl like this you know so i just have a different viewpoint on life but yeah okay. man, it's ignorance last talk, question you, know? you have to follow whatever makes you feel fulfilled and that's different for everybody and that's okay but at the same time i, I mean understand. it depends your feelings and the truth Sometimes it can go against each other. So you, you, to me, I always look at it like, yo, you have to always go for the truth. And even if it's not what you think, but you know, Allah knows best, you know, like, let's be real. Like the way Elahi made us, we're, we made us weak, you know, it's just, that's just what it is. Let this girl do whatever she wants to do. You know, us Muslims, you know, we know the truth. We know the haqq. So at the end of the day, let's just follow what's more important. That's our deen. Big up to everybody watching that fam. It's Ozzy Worldwide. Everybody subscribe fam. I got bare reaction. I got bare freaking content coming. I'm telling you guys fam. Don't sleep, yo. Smash the freaking like button. Yeah, yeah. are done now. I'll see you like later, fam. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Come on, man. Worldwide. We don't never switch sides.